Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Coach Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every week. And again, it does not matter what your sport is, we have you covered. Before we start here for some uh, basketball picks for April the 18th, I want to invite you to join the VIP club section and you'll have access to all these wonderful tools to help you make your picks. So we're going to take a look at these games. First one we want to take a look at is the Indiana Pacers and the Atlanta Hawks. The Pacers are currently ninth in the Eastern Conference and they take on the fourth seeded Hawks. See right now the Pacers are average up. Winners of four out of their last six games. And the Hawks are burning hot. They have won five out of their last six games. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, Atlanta is plus 23 to plus 10. Head-to-head -head matchup. Uh, the last meeting, the Pacers won by 12 points as a road favorite. If you want to bet the over-under, let's take a look at the totals predictor. You see Indiana is playing in games trending over the line, as is Atlanta. So it's a very good indication to bet the over in this game. You want to take a look at the volatility oscillator to see how stable the two teams have been, how consistent have they been. You can see that Atlanta is much more consistent according to their favorite underdog status than is Indiana at plus 17 to plus 8. If you look at the outcome of this game, I believe that the Hawks will battle back from their previous meeting between these two teams and come away with the victory. Again, the odds are not yet posted for these games, so take a look back tomorrow or uh, by Saturday, I think, at the latest they should be in. Brooklyn and Miami. This is a battle in the Eastern Conference. The Nets are battling the 76ers for the top seed in the conference, while the Heat are 7th. The Nets are average down, as are the Heat at the moment. And you can see that the Nets have lost 3 out of their last 6. And the Heat have lost their last 2, and they are also 3-3 three and three over their last 6. Take a look at the power ranking indicator. You can see Brooklyn has a plus 25 to plus 17 advantage in that category. Head-to-head -head matchups. Brooklyn has won the last two, the last one by 13 at home, and the one on January 23rd by four at home. This one is in Miami, though, and it could be a different outcome. If you're considering the over and under, you can see that the Nets are trending in games under the line. Miami is slightly over the line. So in this scenario, I generally avoid betting the over and under. You look at how consistent the teams have been according to their favorite and underdog status. You notice that both teams are relatively stable and more so lately. You can see the upward trend on both lines. Take a look at everything that's happening lately. I think that the Nets, though, coming off a loss against Philadelphia, even though they were shorthand, I think they're going to have enough to beat Miami in this one. Houston and Orlando, Oklahoma City and Toronto. Portland and Charlotte. We'll take a look at this matchup here. Portland heads to Charlotte with the sixth seed in the Western Conference, and the Hornets are eighth in the Eastern Conference. You see, both teams have struggled lately. Both teams are average, or excuse me, ice cold down. Portland losing four out of their last five. Charlotte loses of their last three. The power rankings indicator will show this as well. Both teams on a downward trend. Portland is at plus 11, Charlotte is at plus 13. If you're considering the over and under bet, which we always like to do, look at this. You can see that uh, Portland compared to the line and Charlotte compared to the line. I say betting the under is a pretty smart choice in this game. Look how far under the line that Charlotte has been lately. So it should be more of a defensive type of a battle. Look at the head-to-head -head matchups the two teams just recently played back on March 1st with Portland winning by 12 as a home favorite. How consistent have the two teams been? Portland more consistent according to their favorite underdog stats at plus 14 to compare to plus 9. Portland will probably be an underdog in this one on the road. Again, the odds are not out there yet. I believe that Charlotte would win this one in a close game decided late. 
Sacramento, and Dallas. The Kings are last in the league. They have won three out of their last ten, which doesn't sound like much. But they have been playing a little bit better lately, although the last six games they have lost. But three and seven over the last ten shows that before that they were playing relatively good ball. Dallas, on the other hand, is averaged down. They have lost three out of their last four, but they have won three out of their last six. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that Dallas is at plus 16, and Sacramento is at plus 7. The head-to-head -head matchup, you can see that the teams have not yet met this year, which is a little bit surprising since they're both in the same conference, but they have not yet met. Considering the over and under bet, Look at Sacramento playing in games trending other, under the line. Dallas playing in games trending under the line also. So this is a very good chance to win some money betting the under. How stable have the two teams been according to their favorite underdog status? We take a look at this. The Kings have been more consistent at plus 12 than the Mavericks have been at plus 7. I still believe, though, that even though that they, the Kings have been more consistent, well, that means they've been more consistently losing as well, not just winning. So they've been more consistently losing when they are underdogs, and they will be the under underdogs in this one. The Mavericks are clearly the better team. I don't see that this will be much of a contest. I believe that Dallas will win this one rather easily. And Minnesota and the Clippers. This is another game that looks like it'll be a complete blowout on paper. Minnesota is ice cold down. The Clippers are burning hot. Minnesota has uh, lost four out of their last six. The Clippers have won their last six, and they're really playing excellent ball right now. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that they're at plus 29. Minnesota down here at plus one. Head-to-head, -head, the team's last met on February the 10th, with the Clippers winning as a road favorite by seven points. Betting the over and under on this one, you can see that under for Minnesota by quite a bit, slightly over for the Clippers. I would say avoid betting the over and under on this one because of the opposite trends. If you look at how consistent the two teams have been. Notice that both teams have been very consistent. Minnesota at plus 26 and the Clippers at plus 20. So this is a very, very good indication that the Clippers will just walk away with this one because the Clippers are generally favorite. They're high stability. The Timberwolves are, are typically underdogs, high stability. So this should be a very easy win for the Clippers. So before we leave, I want to, you to take a look at the uh, Z Code scores predictor. And right now you're not going to see any scores, but if I, we look at the game for NBA, I will take a look at it another day just to show you how this will work. Let's just take a look at the ones for the 16th C. On the 16th here, if we we're picking games for Friday, you can see here that the, that the giving score predictions with a confidence of, of the predictions. So you can see here how that works. But uh, since we're picking games for Sunday, this is the Sunday scores are not yet on here. But if you take a look, uh, look back in a day or two, this will be on here. And this will be a very good tool for you to look at to help you with your picks even further. Okay, so there you have it. Enjoy the games this weekend. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.